What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Horror here today. You know, I, I did a, I made a post on Facebook the other day, out of, uh, and I made it because of something I saw on Facebook. I was on Facebook and I was on some horror page on Facebook, just kind of browsing. I really don't do a whole lot of chatting in them, and I saw this guy make a post about Nightmare on Elm Street Five, and just compl I don't remember the guy's name. I'm not gonna, you know, it's not about, it's not about, you know, bringing anybody's name to the forefront because it's all our opinion. But you know, I wanted to bring my opinion to the table on something. This guy made a post about how shitty he thought Nightmare on Elm Street 5 The Dream Child was. And I'm making this video because I want to talk to you guys, my, my subscribers, my fans, my friends, more importantly. I mean, when I, I, I look at this post and I, I think to myself, did we watch the same movie? Because when I think of Nightmare on Elm Street and I go, like, one of my favorites, I mean, number two is my favorite, but, man, number five is number my second favorite. I love part five. I'm just wondering, what is it? What is it that's so bad about it that people don't like? You know, I really want to discuss this with you guys because I'm trying to understand what is so bad about it. I think it is an awesome film. I think one of the things about it is, one, th you know, this movie came out extremely fast after Part 4. Would I agree that it has a slightly rushed feel to it? Just a little bit, but not enough to notice if you're just watching it. You have to really think about, you have to know the, you know, you got to know the history and the background of all these movies to really understand it. I thought, I thought part five did something great, but I, I thought part five managed to, you had Freddie going down this right turn into pop star comedian type and with part five he kind of veered back on track almost like when Def Leppard came out with that album in the mid 90s that was nothing like Def Leppard and then they they you know that's what part four was to me now part four was very like I'm not I'm not, com I'm not comparing the, the 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 fandom of what happened together but just the past that happened to me part five was when Def Leppard made that other album in 99, I forget the name, but they went back on track with what they did. I thought that's what Part 5 did. I thought Part 4, as great as it was, and as awesome as the film it is, I thought it was a little too bright. The film was too bright, and I love the fact that Part 5 just seems like a dark, dark film. The scenes are all dark. You know, in Part 5, four, Part 4, everything's in the daylight, and it's bright, and, you know, it's out in the sunlight. But part five brought it back to darkness and dark scenery and dark, and you know, in the castles flooded with water. I thought it looked great. It was a great look for the film. I love part five. It is. It is not only to me one of the, the my favorite of the series. It has influenced my life. As you can see, part five to me has the soundtrack. The soundtrack. Now a lot of this music I don't hear in the movie when I watch it. But the soundtrack, it has shaped my form of music I listen to. These cool bands that I never would have heard of if it wasn't for this for this movie and the soundtracks. And not just this movie, but I love, absolutely adore Part 5. I think it is a great film. I love the look of Freddy. I love the characters. I'm wondering what is so bad. And I guess this is where I want to bring you guys into it. Please, in the comments, I really want to talk about this, you know. This wasn't necessarily something I just wanted to make a video of, but it's a topic I, I want to talk about. Like, tell me. I mean, if you guys don't like it, try to. I want to understand because I, I, I understand opinions are opinions, but you know, this is the one time I just don't understand where's the hate coming for this film. You know, and I'm hoping a lot of you guys agree that you love this film because I love this film. That's it. I'm not going to go on too long, guys. Really want you guys to get involved in this video. So please drop a comment below and uh, we'll see what you guys think. And then maybe we can talk about another movie that might get hate a lot that, you know, some of us hardcore fans love. You know, we'll talk about some, some more of those. But for now, this is Christian Hanahar. Please drop your comment below. I'd love to talk to you guys. We'll see you guys next time.